Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video today is going to be focused on this pink and purple eye look that I have. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it. If you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Alright, so let's get started. I've already got my foundation, concealer, I have my bronzer, and also have already contoured and did my blush because you guys have seen me do that several times and I'm using the same products I have uh, when I get some new like foundation or if I want to try a new concealer or something then I'm definitely going to do more foundation routines also but since you guys have already seen like the L'Oreal you know this I use for foundation you already seen how I do it so I just don't want to bore you guys um, Today I'm going to be using this Jeffree Star's Cosmetic uh, Beauty Killer. This is the, he's an incredible makeup artist. He also has his own makeup line. He um, has really uh, wonderful um, liquid lipsticks. He's got all kinds of products. So uh, Jeffree, Car Jeffree Star Cosmetics, he has his own website. So if you want to check out any of his stuff. Um, this palette I've had for quite a while and I love it. It's got some really pretty bright fun summery colors. I'm probably going to do something incorporating this color here, which is called Violence. And uh, then it's got a really great neutral shade called Courtney that's great for, you know, the crease. And then there's like uh, black with a little bit of glitter in it. Of course, I've got I've messed it up. I've got all kinds of colors in it, but it's really, really pigmented. And uh, they also blend great. Um, I think I'm going to do just a bright summery color. I'm thinking maybe this color and this color. I don't know if it's too much. I don't know. We'll go with it. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is lay down some, since I've already got my foundation and stuff done, I'm going to lay down some extra powder under my eyes just so if I do happen to get a little wild with the color on my brush, it'll land on this powder and then I can just brush it away. So that's just a little trick uh, if you've already got your foundation done. Uh, normally if I do an elaborate eye, I'll do my eye makeup first and then my face, but I kind of did it backwards today. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is take this fluffy blending brush, which I use it all the time. You can use any fluffy uh, blending brush that you like. I'm going to dip it into this color Courtney and just tap off X excess and just put it kind of all over the lid. I also prime my lids with concealer. I've already put powder over it. Uh, like I said before, I don't usually buy eyeshadow primer. For me, it's just it seems like a little bit of a waste and when my concealer works just as fine. Now, if you guys like eyeshadow primer, then go for it. It's all about personal preference. Now I'm going to take this fluffy brush by Morphe. It's the same one that I've been using. You guys have seen me use it well, pretty much in every video I've done. So um, I'm going to take this color Violence. And it's kind of a shimmery purple, but it's not too shimmery. I don't think I've ever tried to use this in the crease. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to start off on the outer edge of my eye. I tap too much off. Okay. Oh, that's a good color. Oh, I love this color. It's a really good purple. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that purple. That's a good purple. He did real good with this color. Okay, so now the purple is there. Okay. <clears throat> I've got to try out this hot pink. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go. It may be too much. I may end up having to put another color over top. But that's the thing about makeup. It's That's what makes it fun. You can try different color combinations. Even colors that you wouldn't think would go good together. Sometimes they're meant for each other. Okay. La. Try this pink. It's called Star Power. I'm going to look like straight up Barbie and I'm feeling it. Oh yeah, that's pigmented. I'm just going to put that in the middle of the lid. It's not a shimmer, so I didn't use MAC Fix Plus on it. Oh wow, that looks great. See? It's pink. 
pink and purple. I'm feeling it. That pink is so pigmented and so, I just love it. I'm just, mm-hmm. This, uh, this is the little one. It's the one that's a little bit smaller than the other blending brush. It's the M506 from Morphe. I'm going to take a little bit of Vanity, which is almost like a blackish purple. I'm going to put it in this outer V just to see if, uh, just to see what it looks like. Just to give it a little bit more drama, but not too much. See, this eye look is dramatic, and it didn't even take me that long to get my shadows on. So, I'm going to take this brush here from the Balm Cosmetics. Super old, but I'm going to take it and just kind of wipe off the excess powder. I did get a little pink right here, but it's okay. I'm not going to fret about it. Okay, so I got the top part. Now I'm going to do the bottom. So I'm going to take this brush here that's uh, part of a set that came in. I'm so sorry. I don't know exactly what company. I need to try to look for them so I can let you guys know. But I'm going to take a little bit more of this violence color. I'm just going to go under the eye here. Sometimes it's, like I said, sometimes it's fun to use colors that you wouldn't normally use. This eye is very bright. It's probably not something I would wear to work. Uh, but then again, I might. Depends on what mood I'm in that day. <clears throat> okay. All right, now I'm going to take this flat shader brush here and I'm going to take some of that vanity color, but just a little bit and put under the eye. Gonna actually take it up almost like a a wing with the shadow so that kind of gives you that cat eye appearance without having to actually use eyeshadow or I'm sorry eyeliner just kind of go and then kind of blend it in so it's kind of lifted out like a cat I'm feeling it. A shadow palette that has bold colors in it. This one's really good. He has, I think, a couple more palettes that have come out. And they're shades. I don't have them yet. I plan on getting them. But they are, the colors look great. So, now, mascara. Ooh. Okay, the mascara I'm going to use is um, actually something I got in a BoxyCharm. Um, it was actually the July box. Um, I've already done my BoxyCharm video so this may be up after that so but you've already heard me talking about it again it comes in a package that kind of looks like a lip gloss but it is a mascara Okay, now I gotta decide on what I wanna do with lipstick. Probably something neutral. I think I'm gonna use this Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in Sagittarius. It's kind of a purple color. I don't know how to look with this, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. His liquid lipstick formula is really good too. It's not too drying and it stays on forever. So, all right, now I gotta do something with this hair. All right, I got my hair done. Couldn't do much with it today. It's got its own attitude, but um, I'm also, I've also decided I'm gonna do a little highlight and also wanna do a little inner corner highlight. So, Okay, to highlight, I'm going to use this ColourPop Semi-Precious. I'm just going to do the inner corners. I'm going to take this Crown Double-Ended Brush. 
this end here. It's got a nice dome shape. And I'm going to dip into Up and Atom, which is this one right here. It's kind of like a goldish color. I'm just going to pop that on my inner corners. I'm not a big highlighter person, but this look is so sassy that I think I'm going to do it. And then maybe the brow bone just a little bit. Hmm. Dropping everything. Okay, the highlighter I'm going to use is going to be this Mary Luminizer. And uh, this is by The Bomb Cosmetics. I've got mine at Kohl's. But you can find wherever the bomb cosmetics.com and just highlight the top of my cheekbones. Again, I'm not a big highlighter um, person, but I know it's definitely all the rage right now. So that looks nice and highlighted. Ooh, girl. Okay. I'm also going to take this Jua Lip Topper and skinny dip and just put in the middle of the and there you have it what do y'all think all right so that is going to be it thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um i like to do wild and crazy colors on my eyes every once in a while just to get out of the rut of doing the everyday makeup thing and I hope that you like it and um, if you have any other com color combinations you'd like to see me try just leave a comment down below and uh, any ideas you want to see or any questions you have um, if you like the video hit the thumbs up button and if you want to hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah we can hang out and maybe you can give me some ideas on you know different makeup looks you would like to see um, Thank you for watching.